there's a whole world out there that we probably know nothing about. And we're not talking extraterrestrials here. There's a whole world with varied color and brightness far beyond our perception. Quite literally, humans have visual sensors known as rods and cones. The rods are necessary for brightness perception and the cones for trichromatic color vision. Today, we're looking at the world beyond the scope of what we can see of it. We're looking at the world through an animal's lens. Can dogs see color? Can snakes sense heat waves? And which animal has the best vision on the planet? All that and much more in today's video. So let's get started. Snakes. Extensive and quite thorough research has been conducted to mimic the world seen through a mammal's lens. Understandably, it's what we assume is closest to our own. However, what if there was a visual sensation that, if tapped therein, could revolutionize the world as we know it? Snakes are generally believed to have poorer vision than humans. They have two cones instead of three, blurred vision, and not a lot of range. However, what they do have are heat pits, sensory receptors of sorts located in their noses. These heat pits allow snakes to visualize prey or predator by effectively mapping out their appearance using infrared vision. It's basically how you would see through night vision goggles an image based off of radiating heat waves. Snakes also have the unique ability to view ultraviolet rays coming in from the sun, although some snakes might switch off this ability to get a clearer view of their prey. Another interesting fact is that visual sensations of snakes vary based on whether they're daytime hunters or nighttime ones. Daytime hunters can view or switch off viewing ultraviolet rays, whereas nighttime snakes cannot. Dogs. Have you ever wanted to see the world from your dog's perspective? You wouldn't be the first. Everyone's best friend and beloved companion, dogs are by far the most well-adored domesticated animals. They're known for being loyal, loving, and for only being able to see in black and white. However, that latter part isn't true. Dogs can actually see in a range of colors, just not the colors red and green. They're therefore dichromatic and only two cones instead of three. In spite of this, they have a better range of blacks, browns, and yellows. Dogs don't rely on their sense of sight to view the world. They rely on their sense of smell. Have you ever noticed dogs peeing everywhere while they're on a walk? You'd think it's just to mark their territory, but a dog's pee is actually their passport. It gives other canines and some other animals an insight into who the dog was, their age, breed, personality, and such. All this just from pee. Yep, dogs are also able to see the world with ultraviolet light. This is the light that the sun emits and humans tend to block out. Dogs are able to visualize this light as it helps them when locating objects in the daytime. The only time you'd really stump a dog is if you threw a red ball in the middle of a patch of grass. Dolphins. How far do you think a blindfolded person could travel before hitting a coral reef or being chased by sharks? Pretty far, actually. Dolphins can perceive fewer colors, have less visual acuity, and are generally short-sighted. However, they have two things going for them, better range and echolocation. A dolphin has two eyes located at the extremities of their head. This means that they have a better range than humans do. Also, they're able to see what's behind them without actually turning around. Pretty impressive, right? But not as impressive as echolocation. Dolphins are one of two animals, the other being bats, that actively use echolocation to map out their surroundings. So how does echolocation work? Well, a dolphin will let out sound waves and then perceive their surroundings based on the waves that bounce back from objects nearby. They'll use this input to create a three-dimensional image of whatever is around them. Research conducted to test out a dolphin's echolocation showed that while it's far from being perfect, it allows the animal to accurately determine the density of the objects in their surroundings. This ultimately becomes a useful tool in hunting. Sharks Being one of nature's most able hunters, sharks need all of their senses intact to be able to carry out a hunt. Their hunt percentage is at 47%, the second highest in the animal kingdom. We're pretty familiar with how sharks are able to detect blood from literally a mile away, but can they see that good from that far too? Well, the answer is no, they cannot. In fact, sharks don't see as good as we do. Then how come they're so good at hunting? 
Just because they don't see as clearly as us doesn't mean that they don't have the added mechanisms to visualize objects. For example, sharks have a modified crystalline structure known as tapetum lucidum. This structure is located at the back of their retinas. Basically, when light falls on the retina, it goes through to the crystalline structure and is then bounced back onto the retina. This feature allows sharks to be able to visualize their surroundings in dim lights because the light has effectively been doubled. To simplify, imagine that the shark has an inbuilt torch in their eyes. Interestingly enough, cats also have this structure, which is why both cats and sharks appear to have glowing eyes. Another interesting visual feature is that sharks are able to see in stereoscopic vision, three-dimensional imagery using inputs from both of their eyes or monocular vision, two-dimensional imagery using input from one eye. Their sense of smell has been raved upon, but their sense of sight is nothing to sleep on either. Jellyfish Stand still, there's a jellyfish close by. The sea creature is pretty notorious for possessing a powerful, paralyzing sting, and you wouldn't be the first to be scared of one. But can they actually see you? It's not uncommon for people to think jellyfishes do not have eyes. I mean, they have no brain, heart, or bones. Eyes aren't necessarily considered that far up in the hierarchy of essential organs. However, the sea creature actually possesses an incredibly specialized visual device known as Ropalia. The Ropalia is a specialized structure found at the bottom of the jellyfish's belly, almost like a curved end at their belly. Within this structure, there are numerous ocelli. Eye spots. While humans have visual sensations coming in from two eyes, jellyfishes have them coming in from 16 to 24 eye spots. Another interesting fact is that the ocelli are located at the bottom of their head or the belly as it's commonly known, meaning that their eyes are somewhat in their mouths. The information from the eye spots along with that coming in from the tentacles are transferred to the central net of neurons. The ocelli, however, are not well apt for visual they can tell the difference between brightness of light, but not much beyond that. This is owing to a specialized protein known as ospins, which are intended for variability between night and day, light and dark. That's why they're known for attacking as frequently as they do. They can't tell predators from prey. Dragonflies Lions, tigers, sharks, and killer whales. Animals one would expect to be great at hunting. While the aforementioned animals aren't necessarily bad at hunting, they're not the absolute best at it either. Beating animals probably 50 times or more their size is the humble dragonfly. The insect is known for having a successful hunt percentage of 95%. For context, a lion has a hunt percentage of about 15%. What makes them so good at hunting? Their eyes. Dragonflies have compound eyes, basically several eyes held together. They have more than 30,000 visual inputs from all foreseeable directions, front, back, left, right, and then in between all of them. They're also able to visualize ultraviolet rays coming from the sun and can detect changes in temperature via vision as well. You'd think every color that could be discovered has been discovered, right? Well, scientists believe that dragonflies are able to perceive colors far beyond what we know of them. Owing to their superior vision, a dragonfly is able to see in so many ways humans cannot. Their range, the colors they see, varying degrees of light and dark, and several other key sensory inputs that go into the brain and allow for a successful hunt. So, are you surprised by how some of these animals view the world? How do you think a dog sees the world? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Inforama, and we'll see you in the next one.